This is, in my opinion, a pretty tricky and also very interesting trigonometry problem that a friend of mine sent me. Sine of 3x is equal to cosine of 6x, and the problem is to find all the solutions on the interval 0 to 2 pi. And this problem involves a substitution, it involves uh, solving a trig equation in quadratic form, it involves a trig identity, as well as the idea of finding multiple solutions to a trig equation. So all of those concepts show up in this problem. There are nine solutions to this problem, and I'll show you how to find them. And, um, and I think this problem is easier to think through in degree mode rather than radian mode. So I'm going to change this uh, x is between 0 and 360 degrees. The arithmetic just gets a little less cumbersome in degree mode in my opinion. So we'll get the answers in degrees and, um, and you can change the answers back to radians at the end if you need to. Okay, so here's the solution. All right, first of all I look at this 3x and this 6x and I realize um, that's kind of an unnecessary complication that I can I can make that easier if I do a little substitution. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say let u equal 3x. So this is u and over here this is 2u. So now the problem can be rewritten like this. Sine of u equals cosine of 2u. And that's a little bit simpler. And then when we get to the end, we'll get some answers for you, and we can substitute this back in for you. Uh, now I'm going to use a trig identity right here. And, and here's the identity. I know that cosine of 2u is equal to uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared u. So there are, there are a few different identities we have for cosine of 2u. And I'm going to use this one. And if I take this and substitute it in here for cosine of 2u, then I have a problem that only involves sines and no cosines. So let's do the substitution. Sine of u equals this. 1 minus 2 sine squared u. Now I have sines. And look at this. Here's the sine of u, and here's the sine of u squared and here's a constant. So we recognize this as a quadratic. It's quadratic in sine of u. And we, we can always solve quadratics. We can either use the quadratic formula or a little bit easier if we can factor it. So let's start by collecting all the terms on one side. I'm going to take this, which is a negative 2 sine squared u, and put it over there, and he becomes positive. So you get 2 sine squared u uh, plus sine u minus 1 equals 0. And this will factor. This factors as 2 sine u minus 1 times 2 sine u, nope, sorry, times sine u plus 1, and that equals 0. And let's just check that real quick. We should be able to do a FOIL here and get this. So 2 sine u times sine u gives me 2 sine squared u. And then 2 sine u minus sine u gives me sine u. And then negative 1 times 1 gives me negative 1. So that's good. So we can get a solution or possibly multiple solutions from each of these factors. And in this case we do actually get multiple solutions from each factor. So let's take these one at a time. I'll do this one first. 2 sine u minus 1. This equation will be true if this factor equals 0. So I'm going to write 2 sine u minus 1 equals 0. And that's equivalent to saying 2 sine u equals 1 or sine of u equals 1 half. And I think little equations like this are always easier if you picture them mentally on the unit circle. So let's draw a little circle here and think about the sine of u being one half. Well, on the unit circle, one half, the sine of one half means the y value is one half. That occurs right here and right here. And you should know what those places are. That's at 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So if we start here at standard position and rotate through a 30 degree angle, we reach a place here 
where the sine is one half. And the same thing happens if we rotate through a 150 degree angle. We reach a, a point over here where the y value or the sine is one half. So u can either be 30 degrees or 150 degrees. So let's write that. u equals 30 degrees or u equals 150 degrees. Now u, remember, is equal to 3x. So we need to substitute this back in here for u. So we can say 3x is equal to 30 degrees or 3x is equal to 150 degrees. And so this is just like saying, of course, x equals 10 or x equals 50. So, so two solutions for x right there. And we can, we can test those. That's worth uh, taking a look at on the calculator. Remember the equation we're solving is this, sine 3x equals cosine 6x. So we should be able to take 10 degrees and plug it in here for x, and what we get on the left should equal what we get on the right. So sine of 3 times 10 should equal cosine of 6 times 10. So let's just try that. Here's the calculator. Let's put, make sure it's in degree mode, and um, it is there. So let's just try sine of well, 3 times 10. Uh, and you could just type 30, that would be fine. But we get 0.5, and that should equal cosine of 6 times 10. And, of course, it does, 0.5. So 10 degrees works. This, this is a valid solution. And we can test the 50 degree angle also. It'll just take a second. So sine of 3 times 50 Whoops, I hit cosine. Uh, hang on, sine of 3 times 50 right there. And that should equal the cosine of 6 times 50. And it does. We get the same number both times. Okay, now you look at that and you think, okay, we got it. We got uh, uh, some solutions from this factor. There's two of them. And you might say, well, let's move on to this factor. But before we do that, watch this. We're trying to find all the solutions between 0 and 360. There are more solutions down here. There are more than, more than these two angles that give us a sine of 1 half. And you might be looking at this and you go, no, no, 1 half is right here. These are the only two places on the unit circle where the y value is 1 half. But watch this. Yeah, a 30 degree angle gets us to a, a y value of 1 half. And a 150 degree angle does. But so does this. Watch this go all the way around and keep going. A full rotation plus 30, so that's 390. So this angle right here, if it's 390, we also have a sine of 1 half. So you could be 390, or you could be this, a full rotation plus 150. And that comes out to, what is that, 360 plus 150, 510. So let me scroll down here just a little bit. you could equal 390 degrees or you could equal 510 degrees. So remember u is equal to 3x so if 3x equals 390 then x is going to be 390 divided by 3 and what is that? 130 and 3x could equal 510 so x is 510 divided by 3 which is 170 and you can check those on the calculator and they work also and those are still within the range of uh, 0 to 360 and we get two more you could do this you could go two complete circles plus 30 or two complete circles plus five uh, plus 150 so that would be 720 plus 30 that would be 750 so you could be 750 degrees or you could be two complete circles plus 150 so 720 plus 150 uh, I believe that's 870 so remember u is 3x so this is like saying 3x is 750 or 3x is 870 so if if x is if 3x is 750 then x is 
250 degrees. And if 3x is 870, then x is uh, 290. Okay, and let's just try one of those. Let's take this 290 and, and show that it works. Sine of 3x should be cosine of 6x. So turn the calculator back on. The sine of 3 times 290, that should equal the cosine of 6 times 290. There we go. So that works. So we now have six solutions, and there they are. And all six of those solutions came from that first factor right here. Okay, now it turns out we get some solutions from the other factor too, this factor also. So I'll switch colors here, and I'll come down here to this space down here and work. Sine, sine of u plus 1 equals 0. This equation will be true if this factor equals 0. So let's write that. Let's write sine u plus 1 equals 0. That's the same as saying sine of u equals negative 1. And that's easy. If we picture this on the unit circle, negative 1 only occurs at one spot right down there. And so that's this angle, 270 degrees. Okay, pretty easy. So for this to be true, u has to be 270. u is 270 degrees, and u, remember, is 3x. So 3x is 270 degrees, so x is 270 divided by 3, or x is 90. So there's another solution. We could put that into the calculator. It would check out, but there are two more. Instead of doing this rotation, we could do this go all the way around and then 270 so 360 plus 270 I need just a little bit more room here you could be 360 plus 270 which is 630 I think yeah 630 you could be 630 degrees so that's 3x remember 3x is 630 so x is 630 divided by 3 that's 210 degrees and we could also have this um, oh wait we start start right here standard position one full lap two full laps plus 270 so 720 plus 270 720 plus 270 is 990 so if 3x is 990 then x would be 330 and we'll just punch that in to check it the sine of 3x should be the cosine of 6x so the sine of 3 times 330 that should be the same as the cosine of 6 times 330 so cosine of 6 times 330. And that's right. And of course they both come out to negative 1, which is this point down here. Because the sine of that value, uh, the sine of u at that point was negative 1. So that's it. Six different solutions. And if you need to, you can convert those back to radians. You could work that whole problem in radians. Uh, but with uh, the factors of pi, you end up with fractional values of pi. I think the degrees are just a little bit cleaner here. But you could do it in, in radians and, and be uh, just as correct. But there you have it, nine different solutions. They all check out. Um, I think finding those solutions with uh, the more than 360 degrees of rotation is kind of tricky because you're told to confine your answers to 0 to 360 degrees. And so you tend to stop after one rotation. But if you realize that, that's, that, that you... Uh, and if you stop with u between 0 and 360, you miss some of the solutions because 3x allows you to get all the solutions within three rotations. Then when you divide by 3, your x values all end up being within one rotation. So missing the solutions is pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to miss the solutions that come with those other rotations. But good problem. Good trig problem.